the Boeing 727 hydraulic system. The 727 has three hydraulic systems, System A, System B, and the standby system. The 727 has two engine driven pumps, System A, two electric driven pumps, System B, and a minor standby system operated by its own electric pumps. The following clip was recorded in the fall of 2009 at Miami Dade College I. Watson School of Aviation. This is called a system simulator. 727 hydraulics. Alrighty. Now, well, we do. Preparing for flight. Five, two, three. Okay. Flat 23. Flat 23. 67 half, uh, come out when it's on 5. Alrighty. Then, when we take off, gear up. Oh, the tail skip does come out. All right. And then put the flash up. All right, and we're in flight. Extend the flaps. And then let's say we have a, for example, a, a system A failure. Both system A's now function. And we lose low rudder, gear, and all this. What we do? Turn on the standby system. And look, flaps still don't come down, but they're on five. Which is why we need to turn on the alternate flaps. First the inboard, and they only extend. And the outboard. You cannot retract them. Okay, nothing happens. You cannot retract them. See, nothing's going to happen now. Then put the gear down. Then put the gear down. Tail skid comes out. There's another indication that the main gear is down. So when these are all on release, tail skid comes out, and then it stays that way. And we get on the ground. Those come off and we're on the ground. Reverse the rest. The flaps back up. But we can't because we're on the alternate system. And that's it. Now, so we didn't have a failure, and let's just have them come up. Doors can come up. Okay, we had over
an overheat light. Test. That's not it. That's it. We'll leave it like that. Hmm. All right. And so we had our blade failure. It'll snap. We go on the ground. See? It's a braking to connect. And those. And we can use the brakes. Or pneumatics. Okay. Very nice.